PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. Awesome to see you here again today. Hey, cutting holes with plasma. If you didn't like me, it's a pain in the what's the name, especially if you're trying to do it freehand. Anyway guys, I come across a couple of ideas that show you how to do it a little bit easier. And as usual guys, you like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come see me at PeachTools.com and let's get into this, eh? So I've got my three mil plate here guys, here about yo thick. So what I want to do is do a freehand like half an inch or an inch hole. Let's go for an inch hole and just do it try like freehand around here. And uh, you know as well as I do how it's going to turn out. Anyway, this is what I normally do. I normally get in a box of bits and pieces like this. And I'll sort through it and I'll find something roughly the same size. Well, that's that'll be roughly an inch around the outside. So what I normally just do, guys, is this. So I found a washer, guys. It's roughly an inch in diameter. So what I just normally do is just put it on the plate like that, and then I get a vivid marker because I find that the uh, the metal worker's chalk here is just a bit too wide. So I get a vivid like this, and just um, draw around it like so. Draw around it like so, and see we've got a, a mark there guys. So then I'll just grab my plasma cutter and I'll just freehand cut that out. Like I say, um, we all know what's going to happen and we know what that's going to look like, don't we? Anyway, we'll give it a go and uh, we'll see. Alright guys, so I'll try and cut around this freehand and you watch what happens. <laughs> now I don't know if you guys are any better at it than that, but uh, that's quite ugly really. You can use it at a stretch, um, you can put a big washer over it and it would look alright, but um, we want to see if we can tidy this up a little bit better than that. So I thought this sucks, you know, you're not going to be doing this if you're only doing one hole, you're not going to worry about it, but if you've got a lot of holes to do, then you need to do something better than this, well I think so anyway. So then I went to this guys, so then I went to my collection of washers again and I thought there's got to be a better way to do that, if I can get a bigger washer, with the whole centre about the same size as this rather than the outside then I might be able to plasma cut around the inside of it so we'll give that a go eh? so I'll find me a washer that's about the same size that's roughly about the same size so actually if I could get a wider one that would be better because this is quite narrow so I'm looking for a wide one yeah that's pretty close to it this one here it's nice and wide and uh, it's also a little bit bigger so when I account for the width of my plasma cutter tip it should be about the same size so we'll try and do that but I'll try and do it on the inside of this by holding it see how that goes guys <laughs> right now guys take two now you notice I've got one glove on this time because I'm going to have to try and hold this because it's going to get bloody hot while I try and cut around the inside of it anyway bear with me guys this is not as easy as what it looks in fact this is quite sucky guys can't get enough pressure on it and keep it out of the way at the same time, but anyway, we'll give it a go. Oh uh, yeah, that was a real cock up, wasn't it, Pete? <laughs> have another go. Now that's just absolutely ugly. It welded itself onto what I'm trying to cut because I can't hold it. See, that's even worse than that one, I think. And it's also buggered that washer. So back to my tin of washers again. I want to see if I can find one almost the same as this. One that I haven't destroyed. Here's a nice thick one guys. I'll try with this. And I also want to try with a bigger one. Like that, see how these are quite thick, I collect all these washers, I think this is out of a gearbox or something like that because they're quite thick, it might be a thrust washer or something like that. I reckon that'll give me about an inch hole by the time I put my plasma cutter tip inside that and cut around it. And I reckon that one will give me about half inch by the time I do it. So anyway, let's have a go. And this is what I figured out guys. First thing you want to do guys is cut a strip of steel. About an inch wide, something at least three mil thick.
just a hunk of steel like that, that's what you need guys. And then what you want to do is get your two washers or whatever you're using for whatever size holes you want to cut on there like so and just draw around them. That's one. And get your other one on the other end. Turn your piece of steel around. Do the same on this end. Right, now we've got a hunk of metal with two half rounds on it. So then grab your plasma cutter guys, just cut this shape out. Doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as it's pretty close like that. See that's pretty close there guys. And do the same on the other side. Hey guys, don't forget to come see me at peachtools.com, eh? Have a look what we've got over there. It's a little bit ugly there, Pete. We'll see if this one fits on there. Yeah, not really. Just tidy that one up a little bit. Not too bad there, not too bad, it's a bit hot, it's all good. Now guys, put your hunk of steel flat on a table or whatever you're doing. So it's flat, so we've got a flat surface on the bottom. And grab your big one, put it up like that so that the, we're flat all the way down. Grab the uh, back one, put it down there so we're flat there. And then go and grab your mag welder. And then what we've got to do guys is just run a tack along here. And we'll turn them around. It's time to this end. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, now I'll go and stick this in a bucket of water and cool it off. Go. So have a look at this guys, get your contraption that we made here, stick them on there like so, so you can hold them, hold it down, do your hole. There you go, what do you reckon? Notice I had to go around two or three times, that's because I didn't want to blow out my tip, so I started sort of like semi in the middle and then went to the outside. But if you ever look at that, that is almost a round hole. <laughs> right now we'll do a smaller hole guys, with a smaller washer on the other end. Here we go. Once again guys, we're around a couple of times, but you see, you're getting an almost round hole. Now this is uh, uh, about the 10th time I've done this, so by the time you get to 20 or 30, you'll be pretty good. Let's have another go guys. Not too bad, that one's a little bit ugly, but uh, better than doing it freehand. Right, let's have another go at the other end. That one's not too bad. <laughs> and again.
Not too bad. See, you're getting better and better all the time, guys. It's just a matter of practice, and it's a lot easier if you've got something to hold like this rather than trying to hold this stupid thing down. Anyway, we'll have another go. All right, let's have another go. Look at that. Getting better all the time. Another one. Beautiful. Another one. Not too bad. Another one. That's probably the best one of the whole lot, guys. See how you get better and better and better all the time? Well, I think you do anyway. Awesome, good little tool where you get better and better at it all the time. It takes you five minutes to make the bloody thing, and it saves you trying to do it freehand. So, guys, that's the holes that we've done. This one here is probably the best one. This is the last one I did. So how many have I done? Two, four, six, eight, nine. So, you know, by the time you get to the ninth one, you're getting pretty good at it. So this one here is not much different than what you do with a drill bit, guys. So all in all, it's pretty good, actually. Like I say, for the sake of five minutes making a contraption like that, you can do whatever size holes you want. Anyway, guys, that's about it for the day. That's my useless bit of information. Make yourself one of these little fandangle things. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Tell me if you've got any better ways of doing this. Um, always remember to come see me at peachtools.com. And we'll see you next time, guys. You guys have a great day, eh? Bye. Peachtools.com Oh.